네, 안녕하세요, 여러분. 모두들 반갑습니다. 네, 김선태 선생님의 <웃음> 이름이 귀엽네요. 네, 얀네님, 네, 노비아님, 사프나님, 안녕하십니까? 네, 링메리님, 세라님, 네, 캐리님, 보라걸님, 오이, 오이, 네, 오리가도 포, 조닝, 더 세션. 네, 오늘, 아, 다들 잘 지내셨나요? 어, it has been two weeks from the last one, and I hope you're doing well, everyone. 네. 요새 서울은 비가, 아, 서울, 경기도, 한국은 비가 오고 있습니다. It's kind of rainy these days in Korea. St. Michael님, 저 영어 선생님, 네. 영어 선생님인가요? <웃음> 네. 아, 지난주 수업 없었어요. Uh, there's, there was no session last week, so don't know, don't worry about it. <웃음> 네. 오늘 week number 95, 95째 주, 2022년 9월 17일, 네, 매주 토요일, 거의 매주 토요일, 오전 9시, 한국어 단어 수업 시작하겠습니다. 오늘의 첫 번째 단어는 한글, 한글입니다. 네, 한글이요. 한가위, 네, 잘 보냈습니다. 아주 잘 보냈습니다. 고맙습니다. 링메리님은 어, 연휴 때잘 지내시나요? 뭐하고 어디 내시는지 궁금하네요 갑자기 네, We have four examples here 한글 Like 글, 글 is like article, like written, writing, something like that. 글, 한, of 한국, kind of like 한국, the name of country, 한, so like Korean alphabet, practically, Korean alphabet. 방콕 갔어요. <웃음> 아이고. 진짜 방콕인가요? 아니면 방콕인가요? <웃음> 한국 글, yeah, letter of the Han, Canada. That's right. So, 한글은 한국의 문자. 문자 is like text. Just text or writing system or something like that. Alphabet, you can be like that too. So, 한글 is a text of Korea. And that's what it means. 한글은 한국의 문자야. 한글은 uh, again, you're talking something about Hangul. Uh, 가지고 있다 has a structure, uh, unique, unique structure. You know? Vowel, uh, consonant and vowel, well, you assemble and make the block. It's kind of interesting, I think. Mm, unique, in my opinion. Yeah, 한글은, 한글은 독특한 구조를 가지고 있어. Yeah, 한글 덕분에, it's like thanks to 한글. And you're talking something about Korea. Mm. Korea is a illiteracy. Uh, illiteracy. 문맹률 is illiteracy. 문맹률. Like people who can't uh, read or something. Read or write. The percentage. Yeah. Illiteracy. <laughs> illiteracy. Illiter <laughs> illiteracy rate is very low in Korea. Thanks to Hangul, that's what it means. And give me, give the paper, document paper, which is is made of Hangul or written in Hangul, something like that. So written paper, written in Korean. Give me that one. Uh, let's say this one is in English, this one is in Korean. Oh, give me this one, something like that. Hangul or then Seoul, Jo. So Hangul, Korean alphabet. That was the first one. And uh, number. 1111번째 단어였습니다. 네. 그 다음, 다음 단어는 가을. 가을. What does it mean? 가을. 네, 가을. 무슨 뜻인가요? 가을. 음, 계절 이름이죠. 가을. 세종대왕님 덕분에 한국사람하고 우리 한국어를 배우는 사람들은 한자 대신에 
한글로 쓸수 있어요. 만세야 한자 대신에 instead of Chinese character, we can read and write and in Korean. <웃음> 만세, hooray, 아니 hooray, 뭐 써야 돼. hooray. Optim coming up next week. Oh, next week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <웃음> 가을이 왔어. In this case, but uh, 가을이 왔어. Uh, I think in United when I lived in the United States, like the fall starts in like September 21st or something like that, 22nd. But in Korea, in general, just 가을 is like just September. Whole September is just 가을 usually. Like whole like three month, three month, three months, three month. Like yeah, January to March is no, 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 no. March to May is spring. In June to August is a summer, and September to November is autumn, and December to February is winter. Just usually, just um, by month. Um, just for information. Anyway, yeah, 가을이 왔어. In this case, it's already autumn, something like that. It already came to us. 가을이 왔어. And 나는 가을 하늘이 좋아. I like. The fall sky or autumn sky, mm, simply. And what does it mean? 너 가을 타, 가을 타다. Mm, that's something like being sentimental in autumn, something like that. So 너 가을 타, are you get mm, sentimental in fall? Are you are you get sentimental during autumn? That's what it means. 너 가을 타. <laughs> So, you helped me so much. Thanks. Thank you so much for your effort. Oh, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And it's my pleasure. No manifestation queen. <laughs> Such a long name. <laughs> yeah, it's my pleasure. Mm. I think the stormy season in, is in November in Korea. S November? Mm, September? November kind of, but kind of rare more like September September sometimes October mm, something like that 가을은 단풍의 계절입니다 oh that's a good one 가을은 단풍의 계절입니다 가을은 단풍의 계절입니다 yeah you can see like this which means 가을 autumn is the season of maple, maple leaves, something like that. 단풍. Very good one. Thank you. 가을은 단풍의 계절입니다. Maybe you can um, practice, like writing on your own, a new sentence. Um, it would be very helpful for you. Anyway, 가을 means autumn, like fall. And the next one is 개발하다. 개발하다. Have you heard of it? 개비, uh, 개발하다. Oh, by, oh, by the way, mm, okay. Mm. Okay. It's like it can be to develop something. Or sometimes it can, it can be like to invent something. Mm, either way, well, uh, primarily it's to develop. But sometimes it can be like to invent something, something new. Um, 산을, mountain. 산을, 관광지. Like, uh, touring uh, sites. <laughs> 관광지. Uh, 관광지. Uh, hold on, please. Like tourist attraction? Attraction. Uh, Tourist attraction or something like that. Go to place when you travel new country, something like that. And 관광지, like Eiffel Tower in Paris, or maybe Colosseum in Rome, uh, such thing. 관광지, or Grand Canyon in United States, something like that. So, I'm thinking of. I have a thought to develop the mountain as a Tour, tourist attraction, 관광지, something like that. 
since this mountain is so beautiful or something. 산을 관광지로 개발할 생각이야. 불행히도 나는 아랍인이기 때문에 당신이 말하는 것을 이해하지 못합니다. Oh, <웃음> your writing is perfect though. <웃음> 네, 음... But maybe you can still learn few, even though you don't you don't really understand what I'm saying. Yeah, hopefully. <웃음> 네. And 경제를 개발하다 to to develop economy. So they or I, I or he or she or they are trying to develop the economy. That's what it means. 경제를 개발하려고 노력하고 있어. I'm brainstorming a new invention to develop the economy. Oh, I'm just simply to trying to develop. Like, the economy is not good, but I want to make it very good. Like <laughs> that, 경제를 개발하려고 노력하고 있어. To develop the economy. 개발대 발달. Oh, that's a very tough one to answer. 개발 발달. Uh, just like I, like I said, 개발 can be either to develop or sometimes it can be to invent. But 발달 is always to develop. Mm, when, when it comes to birds, they have good uh, 시, 시각 발달. No? <laughs> Sense of seeing is very developed. When it, uh, the birds, uh, 발달, like over time. Mm, evolved, get better, something like that, over generation by generation, <laughs> developed by that, you know. Why is there two words for develop? Like, 발달, 개발, 발달, 개발. Ah, it's a tough one. I think I have explained some time before, but still, it's tough to explain. I'm sorry about that. 발달. Hmm. 산업이 발달하다, 개발하다. Uh, 발달하다 is more kind of like um, not trying or something. You you don't really trying. 발달하다. Just some some people or it happened to be developed. Developed. Just it happened to developed. Something like that. 발달하다. And 개발하다 is like you try you're trying to make something to be de developed. <laughs> okay, now I see the little difference between them. Okay, 발달, you don't really try it. Someone else tried or maybe just it happened. But 개발하다, you're trying to develop something. Uh, oh, that, I think that's a good good one to answer, I think. Mm. Yeah, sign a Korean vocabulary. That's right, exactly. You have the hanja. To thank, thank for the oh yeah 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 you know it can be very convenient <laughs> if you know Hanja right. <laughs> 중급 단원의 공부는 더 열심히 해야겠다. <laughs> just 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 enjoy you know. Don't make yourself to be stressful something like that. When you think ah oh, I have to remember this I have to remember this then it doesn't help you I think yeah just 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 learn uh, learn freely and if you can remember then it's good for you. If you don't, then do it again. Just, just don't, no stress. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. The sign of Korean mean Chinese Korean. Oh yeah, Chinese China, uh, Korean words derived from Chinese characters. Yeah, precisely. Hmm. Okay, third one. 이건 우리 회사에서 개발한 기술이야. This one is a technique that that is invented. From our company, in our company, or from our company, either way. In this case, 개발하다 is like invented. This, uh, this is a technique that we invented in our company. 이건 우리 회사에서 개발한 기술이야. So 개발하다, uh, to develop on your own, <laughs> or to invent something. And the next one is 내일. I'm kind of surprised it's, it is ranked like 11, 14th, <laughs> 1114th, but 내일, what does it mean? 
one year to send sword and <laughs> send sword name. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, like Yanne Nim said here, it's in Silent Korean it's originally re il, re il, but we don't really pronounce real when it comes to a first consonant of a word in South Korea. So it became ne il. Mm, that's a good one. Mm, okay, one by one. Mm. Mm. Tidio, finally, it starts tomorrow, finally. Yeah, you're waiting for something, and finally, it starts tomorrow. Mm. And 내일까지, like, by tomorrow, or until tomorrow. So, oh, what is the day after tomorrow? 모레, 모레. It's 모레, day after tomorrow <laughs> and by the way this is more which means send a uh, plus pretty much is the same so anyway mm. oh, where was i Neilkaji until tomorrow can you complete mm, can you complete making something or can you complete researching something or anything can you complete until tomorrow 내일까지 완성할 수 있어? 내일까지 완성할 수 있어? <laughs> Sometimes it sounds like Dale. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I I understand what you're saying. Uh, it's something about Korean pronunciation. Habits. Yeah, I'll say habits. North Korea kept all the real initial words, right? Uh, exactly, that's right. That's right. I guess it's real in Joseon. I think, I guess. I'm not sure since I don't really, I don't really know that much about North Korean ones. But um, very likely, I'll say. Hmm. Cold in the doors. Oh. Mm. That's something I have never knew. I I never knew. Okay. Okay. Oh, 내일까지 완성이 완성할 수 있어? Can you complete until tomorrow? And vacation. You guys like vacation from your work, from the job. Yeah, vacation. Okay. So 내일까지 until tomorrow is vacation until tomorrow. Something like that. That's what it means. 내일까지 휴가야. And nail, if you say nail 보자, see you tomorrow. And nail 또 보자 하면 see you again tomorrow. By the way, there's something important about the word nail. Nail. Mm. Mm. 어제, 오늘. 어제 means yesterday. 오늘 means today. And nail means tomorrow. In these three words, when it comes to time, like, um, let's say, 날, day, 날, or week, 주, or 달, month, 년, year, like, um, see you at that time, or see you next week, see you next month, or let's do something next year, then we attach a in these words. Mm. We attach this a after these words, but we don't attach. We almost never attach a after these three words. Yeah. 오늘에 보자. 오늘에 했어. Never say that. Just 오늘 했어. 어제 봤어. 어, 내일 할 거야. We don't say 내일에 할 거야. We never say that. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys here. So 다음 주에 다음 주에 또 보자. See you. Again, next week, 다음 주, a we attach a in that case, but not in 어제, not after 오늘, not after 내일. <laughs> 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 
It's a little similar to the nasalization in Korean. Interesting, interesting. Uh, interesting sounds like interest. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I enjoy this live stream so much. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you to say so. I'm glad to hear that. How about the day before yesterday? Oh, 그제, 그제. Mm, day before yesterday, 그제. Oh, in, oh, we, okay. This one included, 모레. We don't attach a after this one too. This one's day after tomorrow, 그제, 그제. Mm, okay. And by the way, one thing. 어저께 and 어제, same thing. 어저께 and 어제, these words are same. Oops. <laughs> and 그제 and 그저께, same thing. 그저께, 그저. And we never attach in after 그저께, 어저께 as well. Mm. 그날에는, 네, 그날에, 그날에 했어. 그날에 보자. 그날에, 그날에는 뭐할 거야. Mm. In that day or on that day. Mm. On that day, yeah. On that day. 어제는 과거고 오늘은 현재고 내일은 미래야. Is it okay to make sentence like this? Something? Oh, that's a perfect one. Yeah, perfect one. Oh, Jess, it's a long time to see. How are you? It's good to see you again. Unvoiced um, consonants are very difficult for English speakers. Unvoiced um, ones. Yeah, that's right. I, I can understand to hear. So our brain assign a voiced consonant that is similar to what we think we are hearing. It takes a while to hear correctly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's a lot of Korean learners have trouble uh, understanding the pronunciation. That's something I have never recognize or something like that but yeah uh, there was one day I had a com uh, phone call conversa uh, conversation I was talking with a speakerphone and someone replied ne answered ne and my roommate who was uh, learning Korean at the beginning level after the phone call he asked me what is de what is de uh, I was like, what? What do you mean? De? No, 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 it's ne. <laughs> I could never understand what his question before. And a lot after that time, you know, finally I, I just happened to understand. Oh, that maybe that's why it can be confusing or something like that. So maybe uh, I think I made a video about it. I had a, I had a live streaming about it. So maybe you can watch that like. Understanding Korean pronunciation. That's the title of a live streaming. Maybe you can watch that one um, if you are interested. Mail, mennal. What is the difference? Uh, mail, mennal. Um, almost same. Mail, mail is just simply sign of Korean ones. And mennal. Me and nal. Together becomes mennal. The sign of Korean me. And nal day, tal, uh, nal, together becomes mennal, which means every day. Mm, so, um, but practically sometimes can like che mennal jore, he does it every day. Mennal jore, he does that all the time. But che mail jore, you can say that. But mennal, in that case, mennal is more commonly used, I think. But no, pretty much the same. Mm. Okay, what else? Okay, and by the way, um, this nail is just simply nail, <laughs> like nail. English. When you say this English word in Korean Hangul, then the spelling is nail, nail. And my job, my work. If there's a space be in between, then it means my job, my work, or something, my duty, something like that. Anyway, nail means tomorrow. And the next one is 떨다. Oh, 떨다. Do you know what it means? 떨다.
Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Dolda. What does it mean? Mm, okay. Dolda. Space is very important. Yeah, in written Korean, space. Yeah, spacing. Tremble, shake. Yeah, that's right. Like shake, trembling. Om s a r e Oh, that's a good one too. Om s a r e Dolda. Yeah, the Om s a r e Dolda. Very good one. A tremble to shake, to shiver. Oh, that's one good one. Mm. 긴장하다. It can be uh, similar, very similar with 긴장하다. By the way, 떨다 is like, you know, 떨다. Shaking, something you shake. Mm. 왜 이렇게 떨어? Why are you shaking like that? Why are you trembling like that? Or why are you shivering like that? 이렇게, 왜 이렇게, why? Something like that. 왜 이렇게 떨어? 왜 이렇게 떨어? <laughs> 왜 이렇게 떨어? And 추워서, since it's cold, 떨고 있어. It's very cold. Like, 떨다. 추워서, 떨고 있어. Can beginners join this class too? Ah, uh, if you while you're watching, you feel like you learn something and it's enjoyable enough for you, then you can watch. But I'm not sure about that. 귀여워요. <laughs> 떠는 모습이 귀여웠나요? <웃음> and 손을 떨다 손이 떨리다 uh, Theoretically, 손을 떨다 is a active voice 떨다 and 떨리다 passive voice but when it comes to this word the specific uh, particular word 떨다 uh, it can be practically the same mm, when it comes to this word 떨다 So, 손을 떨다, 손이 떨리다. 목소리를 떨다. 목소리를 떨리다. Sometimes you shake your hands on your own, on purpose. Sometimes you can be like that too. Uh, same goes for your voice. But in most cases, yeah, these two are the same. Practically, and these two can be the same. Practically. And 떨거 없어. There's, there's nothing to... Be scared of, yeah. Just, just an expression, idiom. Make not, not really idiom, but 떨거 없어. There's nothing to be scared of. It's safe. 안전해. 선생님의 목소리가 분노로 떨렸다. The teacher's voice is shaking with anger. 분노, like rage. 분노. <laughs> oh, 바나님, good morning. <laughs> 좋은 아침입니다. And oh, this kind of idioms, yeah. 능청을 떨다. 능청을 떨다. It's a, it's a, just an idiom, like someone pre pretending to be familiar with something, or someone is pre pretending he is very native, he is very expert, or maybe 능청을 떨다. He, he pretends uh, he is very calm, even though he was like, you know, very 긴장하거나, like very 긴장하다. I forgot the word, English word. Ah, 긴장하다. Nervous, yeah. He is nervous, but he pretends he is not nervous. Something like that. 능청을 떨다. Or he is very good at something. 능청, like pretending. 능청을 떨다. And 소란을 떨다, 부산을 떨다, 방정을 떨다. These three are quite similar, like very. <laughs> How can I explain? Maybe that I just I have to look up. 소란을 떨다. Effusive, effusive. Like simply, it's nothing. But someone say, oh, oh, I don't know what to do. Like very surprised. Actually, it's nothing to scare up, nothing to be surprised or anything. But you know, very shout a lot and very scrub. Okay, girl. 
소란을 떨다, 부산을 떨다, something like similar, 방정을 떨다. And 엄살을 떨다, it's like someone hit you, even though it's not very... Okay, in sports game, to get a penalty call from other player, uh, you know, from the opponent, it's a small contact, but he, he was acting like, ow, or something like that, you know? 엄살을 떨다, it's not really painful, but ah, it hurts, or something like that. 엄살을 떨다, uh, 엄살을 떨다, <laughs> it's a good one to know. Mm. It's look flustered. Flustered? What does it mean? Flustered. Uh -oh. oh, in a way, it can be like that. Flurried. Oh, flurried. Something like that. Yeah. Hmm. 소란을 떨다, 부상을 떨다. In a way, in a way, in a way. Nesungul Dolda. Oh, that's a good one too. Nesungul Dolda. Okay. I just looked up. And to pretend to be innocent while different inside, yeah, to be two-faced, you know, uh, it usually something about dating someone or something like that. Yeah, Link Manin said something Korean women can do very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in this case, Busan is it doesn't mean the city. <laughs> it doesn't mean city. Busan. Like 산만하다, like 산만하다 maybe. Vague, unfocused, distracted. Not really. I I think it's quite different. Like very not calm. Like opposite to being calm. Busan is very like. I don't know how to explain that one. Lingering is uh, he's he lives in Korea, so <laughs> he has been in Korea for quite long, as far as I know. Nesungul dolda. So you know what nesungul dolda means, right? Nesungul dolda. And okay, I guess that's it. Hmm. 별로인데요. <laughs> But I think your Korean is good, I think. Now, anyway, 떨다, these are idioms. Yeah, 떨다 can be used with, in a very different cases. But primarily, 떨다, like kind of shaking. Oh, this 떨다 is just different. 떨다, just, just, just a different word, I think. 떨다, in this 떨다, just different word. Mm. In this case, just, you know, the shake. And this dollar can be used just in different cases. 올해 9년째, wow. <laughs> Ninth year, wow. Uh, wow. Mm. 혹시 미국이 그리거나 되지 않나요? Yeah. When I came to Seattle, for three years, I never thought about being, being, being back to Seoul. Like, but, you know, in my fourth year, wow, I miss... Korea a lot, so that's that's what happened to me, and I just wonder if it's safe to you. The next word is mail, mail. So you know we know what it means, right? Mail. Is it giving some action on overdoing meaning? It's something like that. 소란을 떨다. 부산을 떨다, 방정을 떨다, sounds like overdoing, like act, acting a lot, over over action, kind of like over over action, kind of like that. 엄살을 떨다 is also an over action. Oh, it's something about over action, something like that, something like kind of similar. But in these three cases, just overreact. Out of a small thing, 
but in these three cases it's something about to fake I guess like false reaction something like that to deceive in a way mm, kind of not, not really deceive but in a way 능청을 떨다 엄살을 떨다 내숭을 떨다 in a way so <laughs> Yeah, that was a good question though. Yeah, very good one. And 매일 일찍 일어나서 운동해. I exercise every day. Waking up early and exercise every day. Oh, I wake up early and exercise every day. 매일 일찍 일어나서 운동해. Overreacting, overacting, dramatically. Yeah, that's right. Mm. That's something about 떨다. Yeah. Different dolda, like to shake and to overreact or something like that. Dolda. Mm. What a mail means every day, every day. Mm. Oh, you came here kind of late, so that's why you're asking. We talked about it before, so <laughs> mail mm. every day. Yeah, every day is new, or every day is new day. Something happens. Something new thing happens every day. Yeah, maybe 새로워, new. Every day is new, literally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day is different. It came like that too. Uh, in this case, 매일이 새로워. Every day is different. Different thing happens every day. Mm. Every day is a new day. It came like that too, mm, in a way. So. Every day is different. Every day, something new happens every day. Something like that. That's maybe 새로워. And the next one is 손가락. 손가락. Yeah, you, you see, 다섯 손가락, right? 다섯 손가락. So you know what 손가락 means. Finger. A finger, that's right. So, okay. 이 손가락으로 this finger, 이 줄, this string, 눌러, press. Like something when you teach playing guitar or playing violin, when you're teaching, you press this string with this finger and press this string with this finger, something like that. 이 손가락으로 이 줄을 눌러. 오, 지. Okay, that's a good one. Like 검지. 중지, <laughs> 약지. Sometimes 약지 means this. Sometimes 약지 means this. Uh, <laughs> it can be confusing. Pinky finger, like 약지. Oh my god, confusing. 약지 means this. 약지. Ah, uh, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, this one. Oh. This one is yakji. What is what? I forgot. I forgot. Soji, maybe so it came like soji. It says keji, but I never heard this keji, so maybe soji. Uh, oh, soji, soji, yeah. Like small, so means small, so small finger, mm, pinky finger, yeah. Soji, <laughs> but I never use it. Mm, it's rarely used, just, just seki tonkara usually. 새끼 손가락. 음. 소지. 엄지. This one is 엄지. Like 엄마 손가락. <laughs> 엄마 손가락. Mother finger. <laughs> 엄마 손가락. Maybe. Maybe that's the way it's derived. 검지. I don't know why. 중지 is like middle. <laughs> 중 is like middle. 약지. I think it's something about 약속, promise, or ring, when you wear a ring, 반지를 낄 때, 음, 약속, 
음, promise 약진 maybe that's why 어, uh, please press 엄지, 엄지 척 버튼 <웃음> to the live stream. Thank you, 보라가도님. 고맙습니다. <웃음> 네. So, uh, we did this. And, 반지를 ring, 손가락에 끼다, to wedge, or to put something on some, something. In this case, to wear. So, uh, I wedge, <웃음> 끼다, wedge, wear a ring. On a finger, on my finger, 반지를 손가락에 꼈어. 네. And 얘는 this guy. Oh, 손가락 안에 꼽히다. Okay, he is genius. Like this kind of genius. It means we have total ten fingers, right? Five in this side, five in uh, the other side. Ten. It's like there are many people, or there are many genius. By the 천재 means genius. There are many geniuses, but if you rank every genius from the ranking number one to ranking, oops, number ten, like 일등, 일위, whatever, 일등, 일위, either way, to ten 등. First one, second one, third one. Uh, he can be in this total 10 <laughs> like I know he's very genius you know so he's maybe ranking within number 10 maybe 9th 8th in the world 손가락 안에 꼽히는 천재야 it's like <laughs> you have 10 fingers so 손가락 안에 꼽히다 mm. top 10 oh top 10 ah that's a good one 고맙습니다 너비아님 like top 10 genius, he is still in the top 10 exactly I only learned omji a few years ago because of the omji chok song oh yeah you knowing songs very 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 helpful since you can sing it along again and again and again by repeating you can learn very well like you, do, you don't really forget you know that's a good one that's a good way to learn uh, language it means that you're in top 5. Oh, that's right. Top 5 or top 10. Sometimes top 5, sometimes top 10. Mm, thank you. 고맙습니다. 네. And the next one is Sudan. Sudan. Have you heard of it? Sudan. We have 5 examples here. Like method. Mm. 영어로 가장 작은 손가락은 pinky이라는 말 해요. 어, oh, 고맙습니다. 네, pinky, pinky finger, right? 새끼 손가락, 소지. A country in Africa. That's right. It can be like that. In this example, Sudan is a name of a country in Africa. 네, 교통 수단. It's like Method, the way, the means of something. 교통 like transportation or traffic. So, car, train, bicycle, or bus, and those kind of things are 교통 수단. 교통 수단. Sudan. And 모든 수단 어 동원하다. It's like come up with every kind of method, you know. 처리하다, I did the, I finished the issue, I finished the, I did the job, duty, I fin completed the job, something like that. Complete the task, 처리하다, by, you know, it's hard to do, but I tried this, I tried this, I tried this way, I tried this way, I tried this method, any kinds of method that I can. Uh, I can K uh, C A N can I can 동원하다 like <laughs> you know so something like that I hope you can understand what it means 모든 수단을 동원하다 uh, 
did you did in a way like every possible way 모든 수단을 동원해서 철저 I did and finally I did it <웃음> the reason why I very like K-pop is I can learn 손가락과 관련 어휘 in, a, in one song by Stray Kids Cheese 엄지, 검지, 중지, 약지, 새끼 손가락 is written in the lyrics. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to learn. Okay, 모든 수단, and any kind of method, every kinds of method, every kinds of ways, 음, 동원해서 came on together, 동원하다, and I did it. And 수단 방법을, 어, 방법 is like method, or way, 수단, similar word. 수단 방법을 가리지 마. Like don't think this method is bad. This method is good. Just just do it. Do it. 음, 수단 방법을 가리지 마. Uh, similar, similar ones, similar situation or something like that. And this one is 최후의 수단. Okay. Uh, 음. When you do something, when you do some job, you can do this way. You can do this way. You can do this way, you can do th this way And you can do it this way, but you don't really like to do this You don't like to do with this way But since this one didn't work, this one didn't work, this one didn't work, this one didn't work So I have to do this way, 최후에 mm -hmm. Very less, 최후 mm, yeah. Later Latest, latest method, <laughs> 최후의 수단 since all the other ones didn't work, I have to use 최후의 수단. It has a cons a lot, but it has side maybe it has side effects if you do it this way. But since this one didn't work, I just had to do this work this way. 최후의 수단. This one is a 최후의 수단이야. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so 수단, right? The way of doing something. Last resort, resort. 마지막 기회. Uh, it's different. Uh, in a way, it can be similar, but still different. So, 마지막 기회 is like last chance. But it doesn't mean 마지막 수단, 최후의 수단. Oh, 마지막 수단, same thing. 마지막 수단이야. Same thing. Uh, same thing. By the way. 최후의 수단, 마지막 수단 Same thing uh, It's something, something like you didn't, you didn't want to do it this way But finally you have no choice You have no other choice than 최후의 수단 You have to use 최후의 수단 음. <웃음> 네. And 수단 is a country uh, is a country which is located south side of Egypt. Mm, okay, to draw a map, <laughs> 지도를 그리면 like let's say this is Africa, maybe Saudi Arabia and. The, the, the peninsula is around here, maybe. Maybe Turkey is here, Greece, mm, Italy, or Spain. Uh, can you see the whole thing? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Maybe I have to. And Egypt is around here, right? And Sudan is around here. It used to be the whole thing, now it is divided with Sudan and South Sudan since 2011 or something it's divided within, into two countries South Sudan and just Sudan and this one is Egypt this Egypt Sudan South Sudan mm. just for information <laughs> anyway okay and okay Sudan and the next one is Cha Cha what does it mean by the way last resort I have to look up I guess
oh yeah that's right i guess that's right <laughs> or like jeff said here like this is the last remaining method or something like that yeah the last remaining method 마지막 수단 can be like that that's right 자 ruler that's right so in this case it means ruler so did you measure accurately with uh, using ruler 자로 정확하게 쟀어? Did I copy and paste? No, I didn't. So. I measured it by sleeping <laughs> this funny one. <laughs> I know it's it's just a joke. But just just to say I just since I'm teacher I just have to say cham is a noun cham and cha cha da cha is more like verb. <laughs> but I know it's just a joke so Padae <laughs> Wang okay. Cha can be like son, so Wang is king. Wang Cha, son of a king, Wang Cha. Mm. Yeah, cha can be like that too. Okay, did you measure accurately with ruler? That's what it means. And this one, the the word, which is ends with the letter of, or, or syllable, Li. Li Cha Ro, 끝나는 단어, like block of a letter, Cha. Uh, ri cha ro with this word 끝나는 단어 ri cha ro 끝나는 단어 정리 소리 okay the examples let's talk about some examples of this one so uh 정리 maybe what else 정리 소리 자리 What else? 처리 음. <웃음> Oh, 처리 Okay, good 처리 Or 유리 Glass 유리 유리 Glass 신라 Not 라 신라 It's a country in the, in the old 심리, 심리, oh, psychology, 심리, good one. 심리, yeah, those kind of things, right? <laughs> so, um, 리자로 끝나는 단어, 무리, a good one, 무리. And this one, 팔씨름. 씨름 is like Korean traditional wrestling. But 팔씨름 is like arm wrestling, 팔씨름. 승리한 자. In this case, person, person who win during the arm wrestling. Mm. This person gets obtained or occupied, occupying this prize money, 상금. So, yeah, 승리한 자, 승리한 자, person who wins. 네, 승리한 자가 이 상금을 차지한다. So it can be like person. Sometimes it can be like son. Sometimes it can be like person. Or something like that. And 제 3자. Third party person. I, you, we're talking. And the other guy. 제 3자. The third party person. 제 3자. 의리, 요리, 교리. Oh, good one. Like judo oh some pai shirim oh shirim uh in japan there's sumo right uh it's similar one mm. i think in sumo like two <laughs> big person <laughs> i'm sorry um like touching it like pushing each other 
pushing each other to get something out of the the floor. The sumo and this Japanese sumo and shirem. Shirem is like two persons uh, holding the belt. Holding the belt. Uh, just you know. Uh, <laughs> belt of each other and try to make the other person fall down try to push or to trip his legs or to to lift and make him fall down yeah to win it's so it's kind of different by the way <laughs> so that's shirim mm. that's shirim but pal shirim is just simply arm wrestling Okay, the third party person and 삼자 대면 is like three party encounter right. three party encounter and 육자 회담 is something about diploma diplomatic thing it's like like international relationship thing it's like South Korea, United States and Japan on the same side in China, Russia and North Korea on the other side and talks about usually talks about nuclear weapon testing in North Korea something like that that's that is yukja hedam six party like this get together and discuss having a discussion about something usually about North Korean nuclear weapon thing that is yukja hedam like Party in Kim like the party. Cha looks like an important hanja. It sometimes adds a meaning to a word on owner like sing. Sengja. Oh sing is like victory. Sengja. Victor uh, person who wins. And Tepyo. We can be like repre representative or CEO. We can be Tepyo. Tepyo Cha. Person who represent a company or something like that. 대표 자. What else? Uh, 자 can be like that too. Um. <laughs> 그림까지 설명해서 아주 nice. Uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. 아랍어 자막 영상. Oh, hopefully I can do, but it's very hard for me. <laughs> 네. Okay. And okay. 지원자. 지원하다 to apply to a school to apply to a company and 지원자 person who applied to a company a person who applied to a school 지원자 and 투자 investment investment and person who invested to a company or any kind of thing yeah. 용이 who has a suspect like you know sus suspect well, there's a crime maybe he did that possibly he did that the yongi cha the person who has yongi yeah yongi cha to pyo the vote to pyo ja person who votes mm. oh suspect yeah suspect <laughs> thank you applicant oh that's right applicant <laughs> that's right so cha can be like person yeah, person or some third party and yeah, person or letter of a block block letter block letter or something like that or ruler yeah it has many different meanings and there's a verb chada and well the conjugation is cha so Hyung my brother is now sleeping on the sofa Hyung mm. Sofa에서 자. Okay, and last word of today is 자유롭다. 자유롭다. Have you heard of it? 자유롭다. Mm, to be free, yeah, something like that free so we 
was a society, like free society. 우리는 자유로운 사회를 원해. It came like freedom, or just 자유 is freedom, and 자, freely is 자유롭게. So, a bird is flying freely in the sky, like freely, 자유롭게. And if you have a, if you have your opinion, then talk about it freely. Yeah, 의견 있으시면 자유롭게 얘기하세요. And in this case, 우리 회사는 you're talking something about your our company. 출근 and 퇴근 together. 출퇴근, like going to work and going back to your home from your work. Together, time of 출근 and 퇴근 is in this case flexible, like flexible, like 자유로, like free. It came like flexible in a way in this case. So, and usually it's free, mm, being free, or freely 자유롭게. And 자유롭다 means yeah, those kind of thing. 자유롭다. 빛처럼 우리 자유로워. We are free, like a light, like a shining light. Yeah. 빛처럼. So 자유, free, uh, freedom is 자유, 자유롭다, to be free. So that's it for today. Mm, 자 has many different meanings. And 수단 is kind of, kind of different, uh, typical one. And 손가락, 손가락, 매일. Oh, 떨다, <laughs> 떨다. And nail. There are many simple ones. Mm, 개발하다 and 발달하다. We know we figure out the difference between those two, which is a very good thing. 가을, which is coming, and hunger. Oh, so that's a good one. <laughs> Precious one in our language. Time flies. Yeah, maybe because I am very enjoy this. Oh, thank you, thank you for saying that. I, I feel really good about it. <laughs> 노비아님 고맙습니다. 얀나님, 얀네님도 고맙고요. 네, Glorious Nara 고마워요 선생님. 어, you're welcome. 이번 주 방송을 많이 기대했어요. 와우 고맙습니다 캐리님. As always 항상 고마워요. 김선태 선생님 <웃음> 많이 고맙습니다. 정말 재미있어요. I'm really really happy to hear that 캐리님. 네, Ethel님. 네, 고맙습니다. Great session 고맙습니다. 설명하는 방식이 너무 좋습니다. Oh, uh, even though you, I can't. <웃음> Explain in Arab language, but still, I I guess you understood something, which is very good to hear from me personally. 네, and that's it for today. And it's week number ninety-five, almost getting to week number one hundred. You know, <laughs> maybe after one hundred, it's possible I can continue this, or maybe I have. I'm thinking about doing the the three clue thing quiz or something new. If I have enough time to prepare, <laughs> but it's a possible. I can continue this live, the, the vocabulary session. I don't know. It's not decided yet. Mm. Just, just, just informing you about it. Bye bye, 여러분. <laughs> 네 다음에 또 봐요. 네 Jeff님, 네 interesting words this week. And thank you, son. You're welcome. I thank you as all, just always, Jeff. It looks like a few words, but a very every sentence almost has one more new word to learn. So yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a lot to know, a lot to, but hopefully you can remember 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 a lot of these words. Lingmeri님, 네 좋은 주말 되시고요. 네 Ray님, you're welcome. 네 그럼 다음 주, 음 next week 다음 주에 또 뵈고요. 네 모두들 잘 지내시고. 건강도 잘 챙기시고 그럼 다음에 또 뵙겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다 여러분.